Thanks to Qualcomm Technologies Inc. for sponsoring this video. I want to start this video with a question, one that I'm sure you're going to remember. What was your first computer? What did it look like? What did it sound like? How big was it? Was it small? Was it fast? Slow? If you're anything like me, you can probably answer these questions in vivid detail. And now I want you to think about what your computer looks like today and how much it's progressed. It's not an understatement to say that computers have changed monumentally. Innovation in CPU power and efficiency. Then moving on to GPU power has opened a world of productivity and creativity that was simply not possible before. But now we're on the brink of the next step in that line. AI is here and is changing the world faster than we could imagine. Everything in the tech world is about to change in a ginormous way. Uh, and big part, and thanks to Snapdragon, we are getting an early look at the next gen tech that's going to change how we use everything from our phones, cameras, cars, computers. So pretty much, you know, everything in our pockets, in our lives, um, every single day. And listen, if it's getting dramatic, it's because I feel that we are really at a paradigm shifting moment. Wayne Gretzky had a quote that said, skate where the puck is going. And that's what's happening right now. We are going to where that puck is going to be. Because it'll go down, I think, this time in history that the moment everything in the tech world started to change. There's a good chance you've probably heard of Qualcomm before. And if you've used pretty much any smartphone in the past 15 years, you've experienced the power of their tech in, in one way or another. So over the past few years, especially, uh, we've seen Qualcomm's technology emerge in new categories. So they're powering the next generation of devices from computers to VR headsets, cars, cameras, smart home products. And that is just like scratching the surface of all the different devices that rely on Qualcomm to make their magic happen. And that's the thing that's what getting me so excited is what's coming next. We know Qualcomm in phones, we know it's fast. We know Qualcomm in tablets, we know it's fast. But what's going to be coming next I think is one of the coolest things that I've seen in a while. The way we work and game and connect with friends and family, uh, I think is about to change. And I got a little glimpse of the future. Let me tell you, it's actually pretty nice. So get a glimpse of the future a little early with me. Uh, Qualcomm Technologies Inc. brought me out to Hawaii where I got to enjoy some sun, some sand, some time with my wife, uh, and I also got to see some cutting edge silicon. Uh, and there's so much I could tell you about the cool demos I saw or mind bending stats about the industry. One of the biggest takeaways is that Qualcomm is working on technology and solutions that are genuinely impressive and here to have a real impact on how user devices daily. So they are moving full speed ahead uh, at building next gen tech for the future. They're also building to use that tech today to make our lives better in pretty tangible and meaningful ways I think you're gonna notice. So one of the big goals of this Snapdragon Summit was AI, artificial intelligence. I know people hear AI and think of it as kind of the buzzword du jour, uh, but Qualcomm showed really kind of meaningful and multiple ways that you can use their AI to improve things we already have and do on our devices. And as nuts as it might sound, they're bringing the tech that we've seen in the movies, making it a reality. Using the power of AI to bring meaningful improvements to all of your devices, uh, especially your PC. So for example, video calls are a gigantic one. Like most companies these days around the world got a pretty much fully remote team and we rely on video calls more and more than ever. It's how most of our meetings uh, take place. And obviously you wanna look and sound decent, but you don't need a real fancy external webcam, extra software, even some high-end mic with a mixer. Uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon Compute Platforms are actually using AI to do all this hard work for you. So Snapdragon powered PCs can do things like automatically blur the background so you can stay in focus. Taking things a step further than that, it'll auto frame you, tracking you as you move in and out of frame. Uh, what's probably most impressive of all though is noise suppression and voice isolation feature. Literally tap of a button, there's annoying background noise and people talking like a leaf blower, a waterfall, traffic. It instantly and effortlessly fades away so you can very clearly and easily be heard. It is super impressive to see it in action. And the best part is that it's built right in. You just click a toggle and all the hard work is done for you. So check this out. I was standing directly in front of a waterfall with a Surface Pro 9 powered by the Snapdragon 8CX Gen 3 platform. And that waterfall was 
super loud. You can see in the waveform, there's a bunch of noise. And I, I turn on the noise suppression. Look at the waveform now. The only time you see it pop up is me talking. So I am in front of a waterfall. And now you can just see when I talk, the waveform picks up. Talking, we're testing, we're testing. When I stop talking, still directly in front of a waterfall. It's these kind of meaningful user experience upgrades that Qualcomm is really focusing on this year. They are simultaneously laying the groundwork for next generation technology and our devices will also giving us powerful ways to use that tech right now. And as the PC landscape continues to evolve really rapidly, I think it's safe to say that AI is going to be a leading metric in evaluating a computer's potential. Just like you check the power of your CPU and GPU, powerful AI processing, I think is quickly gonna become one of those must have features and probably deserves a place in typical benchmarks. Uh, in addition to all the AI goodness, Snapdragon platform is also giving PCs crazy power, insane efficiency, and the ability to seamlessly connect to ultra fast, high speed 5G networks. I think it's safe to say that Qualcomm is an expert in this field and they finally tuned this platform to work as best as possible. And they're making what was once just a dream, the idea of having a powerful mobile PC with great battery life, performance, high-speed connectivity from almost anywhere in the world, a reality. And not just one day, but like today, right now. So Qualcomm has partnered with major players to make this happen. HP, uh, Samsung, Lenovo, and Microsoft to bring this technology to their current lineups. In fact, the Honor Surface Pro 9 is available in a Snapdragon power configuration, giving all sort of the awesome things you'd expect from Windows, but now being powered by Qualcomm. So the things you want to be there, power and efficiency, ability to do all those awesome video and audio effects are all done by the dedicated AI engine. And consumers and businesses are beginning to see the benefit as well. Uh, so while I was at the summit, a city that has begun transitioning roughly 70% of their employees to Snapdragon powered PCs, uh, and employees are seeing these real tangible benefits in everyday use. They're a company who saw the benefits of what Qualcomm was bringing to the table. And this transition in the PC space is happening right now. I think it's always kind of cool to see these big changes sort of occurring right before uh, our eyes. Uh, what's also amazing to see is that Qualcomm is bringing the power of AI to mobile devices as well. I think one of the big stars of the summit uh, was the all new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, uh, Qualcomm's flagship chipset. It's packed futuristic features and built with AI at its core, meaning that all parts of a device, like a camera, a processor, or even cellular connection, can be smarter and more versatile. And with these chips and the AI built in, companies like Microsoft and Adobe are building even better ways to utilize AI. So Microsoft showcased how the Snapdragon processor inside their machines will tie in with AI to bring really seamless experiences. And Adobe's even bringing their Sensei AI and machine learning capabilities to the hardware level, which makes using Adobe products really even better. Qualcomm Snapdragon Summit, for me, is typically the highlight of my year. Uh, it's always awesome to be able to connect with a lot of old friends, uh, make some new ones, and also not gonna complain about, you know, being in Hawaii. Uh, but it's also really cool to have an opportunity to see some of the latest innovations in the tech space and get a peek at what's coming next. And it is very clear that Qualcomm is laying the groundwork, for next generation of devices and connectivity right now ensuring sort of performance, efficiency, and connectivity can be better than ever to deliver ultra immersive and seamless experience across all the devices that you're interacting with.